Whatever. He got money. No, I don't know what, what where did we leave off? Oh yeah, we left that bitch got naked again. That's where we left off in the season. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Brienne of Tart. Oh no, no, I'm just thinking of where we left off in the season because there's an oh. episode, we're, you know this is a Sunday coming on tonight, so I can't wait. Uh, I want, or I need to catch up. I just don't want to because. Uh... Wait, what? No, swim across now. Oh, you move the water, so now you can move across this. I didn't think I could swim across it. Oh no, you can swim. And for some reason, Clank has a Hydro Pack, which is something you needed to earn in the original game, but I guess the developer said, you know what, fuck it. We know what happens. No, it's one of those deals where I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll forgive them because it's annoying to swim. Oh yeah, one question about like when oh. you watch the movies and shit. I'll go, we can go back to the ship now. So I'll go head down the elevator. Okay. And just go back to the ship. One question about like when you watch the movie. Uh... Did you confirm that all the cutscenes in this game were taken from the movie? Oh yeah, they're totally taken. <laughs> they were? Yep. Uh, that explains the odd pacing. And that's why it's so choppy. It's like, it makes the game worse, because they had to do that. And I'm like, no, you need, you need to build the game, not just the movie. They are trying to be Pixar, and they failed. They were because they didn't hire Pixar to do it. I guess. Just, yeah, Pixar would have just made this perfect. They, they just a good writing team. That's really just it. They just need to write a good story. Optional travel to the hoverboard event. Oh, you need a trespasser, so go to Ryglar anyways. I need a, what? You need a trespasser, which is oh. uh, on on this planet. So I have to yeah jump ahead and come yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. What? Um. Who made the movie? Was it DreamWorks or I do not some know. other studio? I honestly want to just say Insomniac made it. I'll check right now, but I'm pretty sure Insomniac just produced it themselves and maybe developed it. And Universal, it. maybe? They Maybe they, uh, what's it called? They distributed it? Because it was in theaters. Mm -hmm. And it actually made the top ten. Did it? Yeah, it made a little money, but I don't know how fucking much money. I doubt it. It's, it well, it depends on how big their budget is. Yeah, I don't know how big their budget was, but it looked good. No, this is actually all very interesting. Cause it's just not well received, but like cause it's just, just not because it's not as because Zootopia like first five minutes of Zootopia had me on my fucking like holding my sides. Goddamn, her parents are fucking hilarious. Goddamn, <laughs> they had some of the best lines in that in that movie. I love. Uh, there's yeah, like that. You need like that adult humor, or else. Or not adult humor. Like SpongeBob had some great jokes every once in a while. Yeah, SpongeBob has like some Wombo? sweet ones. It had good kid jokes, and it also had just you know just what sneaky, have another you know you know sneaky uh, uh, uh sneaky adult humor in it. You yeah. need you need to have something like adults can have, but also children will enjoy. Yeah, I, I which is a hard line to tread. I would not be. I I would I would love to see what goes in the minds of the writing room for like this. Yeah, kill that before you fill it up again. I would, uh, because that has to be just such a hard tightrope. Because well, on one end you get a DreamWorks picture, and on the other end you get something that just no one likes. I think, like, I don't know, Entendre is easy to pull off because uh, kids won't know what it means. Entendre to me, uh, it, it's a hit and miss. Yeah. I, it can't be too obvious, or it can't be. Or else it's just like, okay, you did it there because you could. Here, Here's one I miss, like, uh,. Like, have you seen the episode of Spongebob where, like, uh, he's trying to get Gary to take a bath? Mm -hmm. Like, um, at one point, like, he tries to make it, like, a treasure map kind of thing mm -hmm. and get Gary excited about going into the bathtub. Mm -hmm. And then he pulls out soap and then goes, Look, Gary, doubloons! Don't drop them! <laughs> Saying, don't drop the soap. <laughs> don't drop the soap. I, I didn't know that at first. That was good. I had to watch a YouTube video for er, uh, and that had to tell me. It's all very sneaky, and it's fun. It's you gotta make it fun and clever. Like SpongeBob did that very well. Rock with Mario Life really did that well. Oh yeah, Chokey Chicken, like Chokey's Chicken. Like I didn't even all know the what that meant. All the heifer and steer comments. Oh, he had like one where he got milked. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, these are all great because I was actually watching Rock with Mario Life with my dad the other day because we love that fucking show to death. Is on Netflix. Oh, uh, no, it was just on Nickelodeon, so we just watched it. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there something I'm missing here? No, go back. You got it. Now that you've killed the thing and opened this up, now you can, f you know, float around in it. Oh, okay. That, what you did was important. So now, see, there you go. Puzzle solving. Simple puzzle. But, um, 
God damn, that one's great. Invader, like Invader Zim, is should not be a kid show. <laughs> There's a lot of fun in it, but man, did they get really, really dark and weird in some parts. I'm just like, oh god, this is not what like any five-year-old would understand is happening. The eyeball scene. That's, that's the, the one that sticks out to me the most. That one is really creepy. Keith's eyes get stolen. And that's it. And like, that's the ending of your episode. I'm like, what? Really? Yeah, well, Whoa. no, the ending was he saw a squirrel and then the eyeballs made it look like Zim, so he followed the squirrel. And then it killed him. Well, supposedly killed him. He's in... He's floating in round in one of the other episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally floating. Oh, oh, shit, what? Oh, oh no, you're you're racing now. Oh, you're failing. You might as well just kill yourself. Huh? Gotta race now. Oh. Before the water kills you. Can I just die? Uh, no, because that would be silly. But you're probably gonna die anyways. <laughs> uh, it, it's very, very, very timed. I don't even know how you're gonna make this work. I actually wonder if you were to, if you were to make this work with, with uh, this just casually swimming. Was I mean, is Keep there going. a button I could press to make it go fast? Uh, you have to go underwater, but oh. that's not exactly fast, and you're running out of oxygen very quickly. Up, oh, there we go. Up there, up, up there it is. Up, up. Come on, surf it. Okay. No, you uh, died. You died horribly. It's okay. okay. I, I didn't really realize that's what I needed to do. Long backs can't. Okay, now you know. Go, run. This is this is all important. Oh, I can race the water. Okay. Yeah, you gotta race the water. Don't ignore them. Just, just, just tell them to fuck off. Hello, friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, I still love it. Sad Affleck. <laughs> you know that meme, right? No, uh, I only know Sad Keanu. Oh no, uh, Sad Affleck was great when uh, some producer, fuck, or fuck, fuck, some fuck. reporter came. No, you're going the right way. There we go. I thought that was where I came. Okay. Well, casually swim. Uh, go down. Casually uh, dive. And uh, you might be able to make it. Up, 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 up. All the way. Good. No, but the some reporter sat him down and when Batman v Superman, he told him all the reviews for for panning it. You just see his face, and it's just like utter disappointment and disgust. Like, oh god, oh, it happened. I mean, up. Oh, it's not his fault, really. Oh no, no, no! He's the best part of those movies, or that movie, I should say. <laughs> He's the only good part, I should say, because there's nothing else redeeming about it. It is Superman was a bad at performance too. Superman had no fucking motivation to do anything. So he didn't have. Much There's to a work few with. things in films, you know, films of this nature, I should say, that you Fuck. kind of that okay. you kind of need. Like I said, you never have to follow this formula necessarily, but when you're making a broad stroke superhero blockbuster film, Those you need are... to have a couple things that are necessary because you gotta feed this. This, this information to fat moo cows eating stuff in their face with popcorn in the audience. Right. There's at least a few things. M characters need motivation and action needs motivation. One needs to do the other. And there was none for three of the pillars of their of their little story. Yeah, Superman, Batman, and Lex Luthor. I could not tell you what are you doing. I give up. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm like a dolphin, you know, yeah, just uh, staying underwater. Just fooling around. Oh, he's dead. You need to have, and I could not tell you what Lex Luthor wanted in this movie. Okay. I could not money? tell you. Nope. Not even. No, not, it wasn't money. He hates Superman. He doesn't, you don't know why he hates Superman. I don't know why he hates Superman at all in that movie. Superman had a slumber party, but he didn't invite me. I swear to God, that would have been a, a, better, more, a but... fucking mo That's a motivation, at least. God damn it, <laughs> that is motivation. I could not tell you because okay, my like, hand is slipping off the like. Knob. That's weak and shitty motivation. That like, that's Amazing Spider-Man two motivation. Like you know why? Because uh, I know you didn't see that movie. Um, that's the one with uh, Jamie like, Fox. Jamie Fox. Okay. Uh, so. I, Jerry Fox as Electro. Okay, I thought that was the one with uh, James Franco. James Franco? No, those are the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. 
which are the original ones, which now are looking so much fucking better now, aren't they? Aren't they, Hollywood? What are you doing? I don't... You were going the right way. Oh, you broke it. I, I, you were going the right way, Kevin. I, I just held on to one of the um, buttons, and it just made me go all the way down. You just I get, tap it. Just huh? tap it. Just tap it. That's how you do it. Uh, anyway, um, wait, Spider-Man 2, it's not the first trilogy that the came out. Spider-Man is the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, which are, you know, the ones we grew up with. The, the good Spider-Man, which will, they will now be known okay, as. Okay, so not to uh, Topher Grace. Topher. No, that is Tobey Maguire okay. and Topher Grace Spider-Man. Those are fine. The Amazing Spider-Man has this Andrew Garfield mother Shit! motherfucker. Shit! Kevin, you've been racing this for just, how do you not memorize the race? It's, it's, it's they're simple turns. I don't know. Okay, like there was one part where I followed the water, and uh, if I did that, oh God, I would you miss go the all the way down on the right, and uh, I go down. <laughs> you go all the way down. Seriously. Um, and you just wait here. I. I okay. Yeah, no. See. No. I look. I. I wasn't moving. It just. It was stuck. Don't blame the controller, man. No, don't blame the controller. I'm blaming the programming, man. No, there's only one thing this programming did do to me, which was the slingshot doesn't work very well. Whoever programmed a slingshot needs to get fired at Insomnia. Uh, What's funny is that the end. You're right there at the end. Yeah. Luckily there's not more. There's not more torture. No, but, no, but the main thing Spider-Man has my Andrew Garfield. I can't believe I have to explain this to you. How do it's you know a this? Disney one, basically? It's not Disney. Oh. Uh, it's Sony Cruises. Ah. Oh. I don't know how Sony got the rights to Spider-Man, but they are sure get a hold on to them as long as they can. Right. But yeah. And the Amazing Spider-Man, both are terrible. Anyone who says different do not know fucking dick butt about movies, okay? Dick butt. The, they're, they're both bad movies, and it's shocking. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is... Uh, is this it? Is worse. No, because you're right there, Kevin. What? <laughs> Look, there you go. You go up. Gotta go fast. You gotta go fast. You gotta go Sonic fast. Oh, we're playing Sonic now. We're playing Sonic now. You gotta go fast. I'm Ratchet the Clank. Ratchet the Clank. You might be able to make it if you didn't swim all the way down, and so you can sift through the sod. No, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm done for. I'm done for. Dead. I didn't know it. It looked like a wall. Like the Amazing Spider-Man Two is literally a film with no plot. Oh, I swear to God, there was no motivation to anything in that film, and you said slumber party motivation. Uh, that is equivalent to uh, what's his face, Electro's motivation. The reason he doesn't like Spider-Man is because Spider-Man didn't remember his name. That's it. I swear to God, that is the reason why Electro fucking wants to kill Spider-Man is because Spider-Man did not remember his name. Oh, I mean, there's American Psycho where. Uh... You know, the guy had a better uh, business card, and that's why he killed him. This is called American Psycho. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's not Electro Psycho. Fine, fine. And for some reason, when he turns into Electro, they fix the gap in his teeth. I didn't know that's how you, when you get superpowers, they fix the gap in your teeth either. Your skeletal muscles become, uh, become awesome. aligned. They become awesome. I get it. Okay, superheroes, whatever. But, oh my god. But that's equivalent to Batman because Superman. You have I do not know what anyone I do not know why Superman got into Batman's business at all. Oh. There's, n there's no reason for that. Wait, also, what? Superman is the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen. He gets up in Batman's business for this and points out this. You know, I don't like you because you take the law into your own hands. I'm like, are you? Are you fucking? Kidding Wait, me? what? Are you fucking kidding Is it not me? what Superman does? That's exactly what Superman does. He's not a policeman. He's not a policeman, and he's just doing whatever he wants. It is the definition of being a vigilante. You're taking the law into your own hands. And he constantly tells the government and law enforcement to go fuck himself. To the, uh, go fuck themselves. I'm going to do what I want. The ending to Man of Steel was them, was Superman flying to the sky, taking down a U.S. satellite that was spying on him and says, you're not going to do this anymore. Stop it. Uh, you pull the shit again, I'm going to come back. That was the ending to Man of Steel. Nice. Which is one horrible. So fuck the police. So fuck the police. I'm gonna do what I want. And I'm like, this is not... This is the dumbest thing. Because then he... Because he's Captain Hypocrite. For uh, sure. 
There's nothing redeeming about him. God damn it. Oh, you did it! Did I? Yeah. Yay. Took a thousand tries, but you did it.